This house is on a lot that slopes from the front where the street is to the back to a creek. And because that creek has the possibility of overflowing, you have to put the house up towards the street that is in there because you don't want it to flood. And so by doing that, I was able to put the parking underneath the house in the back. So you can start at the street and there's a bridge that goes all the way through to the entrance of the house. And underneath the bridge, you can park. And we have stairs where you park that takes you up to the bridge that takes you into the house. And this was designed for a modular system so that each one of these modular boxes could be placed in such a way until they left a section between the actual boxes that a developer or a contractor would have to fill in and that gave me a point where I could put in skylights and all. And you go in the entrance and then down the hall and at the end of the hall is the master bedroom. And then where the master bedroom is and the bath is a curved area for the uh, actual tub. Then if you're standing on the level that you entered you look down as these boxes go down the hill and you can see across and into the space next to them. And the space next to them becomes the formal dining and also the kitchen area. Let's take a look to the diagram on the left here. All right. <clears throat> so as you're going down from the main level, you go down steps and past the area that is the dining room and the kitchen and down into the living room. And the living room then is a two-story area underneath the area that if you're up on the dining and the kitchen level, you can go up some steps to what I call the crow's nest, which is sort of a library type of thing. It looks back down into the actual living room area. So the house is designed so that you can put it together with these modular systems which right now are, are building very cheaply and they beat actually the stick built type prices today and you can have one two three type of bedrooms just by the way that you arrange the boxes and then you can also have the living dining and the kitchen and also the crow's nest so that it's hanging in the space as you can see here, hangs in the space, and you go up the stairs to get to it. And the living area is all the way underneath all of this, all the way up to where you have the uh, crow's nest. 